In this corncast, we're going to take a look at complex numbers. What is a complex number? Well, a complex number is a number that's in this form, where A is the real part, and BI is the imaginary part. So together, the real part and the imaginary part make up a complex number. More specifically, complex numbers can be made up of two things. Parts that have only real numbers. For example, any complex number with 0 times i or our imaginary part is 0. And these are all numbers that we already know, like negative 1, 71, 5 halves, 0, and let's say plus or minus square root 3. The other part of that are the complex numbers that have imaginary numbers. For example, a plus bi, where b is not equal to 0. Well, 2 plus 3i, 3i, crazy ones like square root 3 minus pi i, and square root of negative 3 which we know is going to end up being the square root of 3 times i, and 5 minus 5i. Five Together, real numbers and numbers with imaginary parts both make up all of the complex numbers. In all of our examples, we're going to simplify the following. Now, in example A, we're going to add a complex number to another complex number. When adding or subtracting two complex numbers is absolutely positively no different than adding two binomials together. You really just need to collect like terms. So what you're going to do is you're going to add the real part to the other real part. So 3 plus a negative 2 is 1. And then you're going to add the imaginary parts. So 2i plus negative 4i, and that's going to give us a negative 2i. Now, I want you to ask yourself a couple of things. One, is this in complex number form? In other words, is it in the form of a plus bi? Well, it sure is. 1 minus 2i is in the form of our complex numbers. And now we're happy. Now you can also ask yourself, what is the real part? Well, the real part is a positive 1. And then you can also ask yourself, what is the imaginary part? Well, the imaginary part is going to be negative 2i. So that's one of the things that we need to be aware of when we deal with complex numbers. First of all, is it in complex number form? And secondly, can we identify the parts? Now, when subtracting complex numbers, the first thing I would do is distribute this negative to this complex number on the right. And that's pretty standard when we subtract two binomials together. So I'm going to go ahead and distribute my negative 1 to this binomial to the right. So I'm going to be left with 3 plus 2i. Now when I distribute a negative sign through, the sign changes to addition. Negative 1 times negative 2 is a positive 2. And negative 1 times negative 4i is a positive 4i. Now it's just like example A. Now I just need to add my complex numbers. My real part plus my real part, so 3 plus 2, which is 5. And my imaginary part plus my imaginary part, so 2i plus 4i, which is 6i. So there's the answer for example B. Again, when adding or subtracting complex numbers, you're just going to collect like terms like you always have done. All right, well, is this in complex number form? And the answer is yes, a plus bi. Well, my real part is 5. My imaginary part is 6i. Now, in example C, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite the quantity 2 minus 5i squared as 2 minus 5i times 
2 minus 5i. So example C is really multiplying two complex numbers. I'm going to use the area model for this. So I'm going to draw my generic rectangle. I'm going to write my first complex number along the top and my other complex number along the side. And now multiply. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times negative 5i is negative 10i. Negative 5i times 2 is negative 10i. And negative 5i times negative 5i is a positive 25i squared. So the product of these two complex numbers is 4. Negative 10i minus 10i is negative 20i. And lastly, plus 25i squared. Now normally when we multiply two binomials together, this would be our final answer. However, we're now dealing with complex numbers and imaginary parts. And we now know what i squared is. i squared is really negative 1. So when I multiply 25 by i squared, I'm really multiplying 25 times negative 1. And that's negative 25. So I'm left with 4 minus 20i minus 25. And the last thing I need to do is collect like terms. So 4 minus 25, which is negative 21. So my final answer is going to be negative 21 minus 20i. Now again, ask yourself those questions. Is this answer in complex number form? And the answer is yes, a plus bi. The real part is negative 21. The imaginary part is negative 20. And this answer satisfies our complex number form. As if numbers aren't complex enough already, 